Hi, I'm Sean the Beast Fister, three-time world long drive champion. And you know a lot of people ask me what my secret is to hitting the long ball. Well today I'm going to share with you my ultimate secrets in long driving, my top 10 list. Number 10, get properly fitted for your clubs. A driver that's not fitted for you is not going to work. Too many people are using too stiff a shaft and too low a loft. If you can go to your PGA Pro or a club fitting place uh, at a golf shop, you'll find that you're, you're going to really zero in on the right equipment. You'll pick up yards immediately just doing that. Number nine, swing at 85% effort. If you swing at 85% effort, you're going to have a lot better balance. You're going to have a lot better timing. And you're going to hit the ball more solid. And when you hit the ball more solid, you're going to gain 10 to 15 yards right off the bat. Number eight, hold the wrist cock. The angle that you create between the shaft and your left arm, this angle, the longer you hold that angle coming into impact, the faster that club head's going to be moving. Now remember, you want to keep your balance, your head on the right side of the golf ball if you're right-handed. When you take the back, and you want to create that tight angle all the way through the and when it snaps through, the club head is going to be traveling a lot faster, thus creating a lot more club head speed. Speed plus good balance equals distance. Number seven, have a good spine tilt. When you're at a dress over the golf ball, you want your spine to be angled away from the target if you're hitting that way. You want that spine angle to be maintained throughout the golf swing. So that means your shoulder angle, and here's a good point, that when your shoulders are at this angle, that's, that is going to be the trajectory that you launch the golf ball at. So if you're ever heading into the wind, you want to bring this down and square up. You want to hit it high and carry the ball far, this is what you do. You, you drop your right shoulder, raise your left, get right back here, but it's very important to keep that spine angle right here throughout your whole swing and especially on the downswing. When you come through right here, you stay back. I know many of you have seen the reverse pivot in golf. It's the worst deflection to every golfer out there is when you take the club back and you, you're always trying to keep the head still. Well, what happens is you, your hips go back, but your head stays there. Your spine tilt is backwards. So the way to fix that reverse pivot is with this spine tilt. You take it back, keep the spine back, keep it there on the downswing, and boom, you hit it right on the upswing. Number six, you want to have a wide stance. Not too wide, just a little bit outside the width of your shoulders. And what, the, what widening your stance does is it creates a lot better balance. I mean, it's kind of like a, you see a, a, a tractor out there that's got the legs that come down and sit down. They anchor you down. And what it also does, is it helps the golf club to stay shallow through the impact zone. So the club head is traveling more through the hitting area than coming down on a descending blow, which creates a lot of spin. You don't want spin when you're hitting for distance. So here's the deal. Widen your stance. It's going to help you create much better balance, and you can have a good finish. Wider stance. Number five involves your takeaway. Slow and low takeaway. Slow and low. You take it back. This creates arc. It's much better for your timing than snatching it back because that's where a decelerating downswing comes from. So you want to take the club back slow and low. And I'm going to show you something. When you hit this ball slow and low, some people think if you take it back real slow you can't hit it far. Well that's simply not true. So we're going to take it back slow and low. Remember, slow and low, tip number five. Number four, stay behind the ball at impact. Too many golfers, when they get to impact, their head is already on this side of the golf ball. You're done because you cannot hit the ball in the upswing when you're already past it. So you have to stay behind it. A lot of people think about getting back here and, and taking their swing, but they slide back through and get ahead of it. You don't want to do that. So when I say stay behind the golf ball 
at impact, that's what I mean, at impact. It's on your downswing, you wanna stay on the, on, behind the ball. This helps you hit the ball on the upswing, which reduces your spin. Low spin and a good angle mean, mean big distance. This is a demonstration of what you wanna do. Take the club back, stay right here. Your head is on this side of the ball the whole time. Number three, grip pressure. You wanna have the grip pressure on a scale from one to 10 at about a two. You wanna hold the club real lightly. What this does, it frees up your hands for a real good snap at impact. And a lot of times you, you don't see a major league pitcher, a fastball pitcher throwing the ball with a stiff hand where he's not using his wrist. They come through and they snap it. Well, it's the same thing in golf. Your hands are freed up for a good snap and you're gonna hit the ball a long way. Number two, see the shot you wanna hit before you hit it. It's a mental picture. See the shot in your mind several times before you step up to hit it and I guarantee you the chances of you hitting it straight are a lot better. My number one tip for hitting the golf ball farther, use your power hitter. Take it out to the range a couple times a week, hit a couple of buckets with the power hitter, switch to your regular driver, hit another 10 or 15 balls and switch back to the power hitter and you're going to find that you're going to get much better balance, you're going to be hitting the ball further and you know what, you're going to have a great time doing it. And I'm Sean the Beast Fister, and that's my top 10 list for hitting the ball farther.